The model office, which we will take you through in this video, is a rich and detailed end-to-end -end DevOps ecosystem populated by our software and third-party open source tooling, all integrated to deliver a comprehensive set of use cases across eight modules. Continuous planning, integration, deployment and release, testing, security, operations, collaboration, and assessment. So what does end-to-end -end enterprise DevOps look like? It starts with continuous planning and definition. To drive business growth, the business has new demands and has submitted four new proposals that are captured and managed in project and portfolio management. After a cost-benefit analysis, the stakeholders have approved the best proposal, and once approved, a project is automatically created and linked to ALM Octane. ALM Octane is our agile project management solution where we manage aspects like backlog and features, and in this case, a user story to add a new payment method to the company's online store, Advantage Online Shopping. The execution status from ALM Octane is synchronized back to project and portfolio management allowing the project manager to view real-time status from within their familiar project and portfolio tool so they can manage the project as part of the company's portfolio of programs. We are now in continuous integration, and our developer is ready to start implementing the necessary code. The user stories from ALM Octane are integrated directly into the IDE, so everything is at the developer's fingertips. The developer confirms the user story, after which she proceeds to locate the appropriate place in the application to add the new code. She proceeds to implement the new payment method, and then builds and runs the application locally. Adopting shift-left testing, once the application is running locally with the changes implemented, the developer launches a set of functional tests using LeanFT without ever leaving the IDE. The tests run automatically, interacting with the application just like a real user, checking for any errors. As we can see in the test report, there are none in this case. Before checking in the code, and again without ever leaving the IDE, the developer launches Fortify, which executes a static code analysis, checking for known security vulnerabilities a recommended practice and part of continuous security. Fortify detected that the code may be susceptible to SQL injection and possibly violates privacy rules. The developer can see precisely the offending lines of code, a detailed description of the issue, and recommendations on how to fix it. Now that the implementation is complete and tested locally, the developer checks in the code and commits the changes into the Git repository. The user story ID is linked to the code base, enabling tracking, auditing, and change-based impact testing. Since the company also has the Advantage Online Shopping mobile app, the developer implements and documents the changes and then tests the newly introduced code using an Android emulator, this too without ever leaving the IDE. It's time to deploy the code. Changes are first merged into the master code branch in the SCM, GitLab in this case. This automatically triggers a Jenkins pipeline to build the required environment. This is a Docker-based deployment pipeline using Kubernetes, and its progress is synchronized in real time with ALM Octane allowing team members not familiar with Jenkins to monitor pipeline execution and status. Jenkins also orchestrates a mobile pipeline, as well as a cloud-based deployment pipeline, designed and executed by hybrid cloud management suite using visual designs, infrastructure as code, and comprehensive deployment gate actions. With continuous testing, as soon as the environment is provisioned and ready, Tests are automatically executed. We start with functional tests, 
using Unified Functional Testing, or UFT. UFT can execute tests against multiple types of applications. We start with the web app, and just like we've seen before, these tests interact with the application like a real user, submitting input and checking whether the application behaves as it should. Once the web app has been tested, it's time to test the mobile app. Using the same scripting language, tests can manipulate a mobile UI just like they do for a web app. Once the functional tests pass, a performance test is run using Performance Center. The application is put under load and is measured for performance, throughput, and many other metrics ensuring that the new code did not introduce any degradation. Continuous security means that we test for vulnerabilities throughout the lifecycle. We already saw the developer running a static code analysis, and now we execute the same scan automatically as part of the pipeline, but this time against the fully integrated code. Not only do we test against a container-based deployment, our security tools are themselves deployed within containers. Once the scan is complete, we can see the list of detected issues, including the same privacy violation we saw earlier, which the developer clearly neglected to fix. This is a clear example of why you need continuous security. We can drill down to see more details in Software Security Center. Here, too, we can see the offending line in the code, assess the criticality of the issue, and use the integration to ALM to open a defect in ALM immediately so it can be remedied. Next, a dynamic application security test, using WebInspect, also running in a container, is automatically run as part of the same Jenkins pipeline. It simulates a variety of attacks, and when it completes, we can drill down and see that after running more than 300 attacks, no vulnerabilities were found. We are ready to move to production. Now we are in production, so continuous operations takes over where we protect and monitor the application. Fortify Application Defender is a runtime application self-protection solution monitoring and protecting applications in production. We can see that it detected a cross-site scripting attack, so we instruct it to, from now on, protect against it. App Pulse Mobile is a mobile app performance monitoring tool that tracks the real user experience of your mobile apps, so you can remediate issues to deliver a five-star experience. App Pulse Mobile Fundex measures app health, including performance, stability, and other factors. We can see that UI performance lost 68 points. And when we drill down, we can see that indeed 45% of actions take longer than two seconds. App Pulse Mobile also shows you user flows to understand how users use your mobile app. We are still in production, but it seems like there's an issue. A user is trying to order some laptops, but the application is returning an error on payment. Obviously a very serious runtime problem. Our continuous operations team is using ChatOps and is being automatically notified about the error from SiteScope, which monitors the application in production and is integrated with the enterprise chatbot. This triggers a sequence of communication between the team members. Using an enterprise-level chatbot, which provides integration between a collaboration tool and service manager, one of the operators decides to open an incident ticket in service manager. The incident is created and then assigned to an operator for resolution. Since this is a serious issue, it is classified as a major incident, which triggers an automatic creation of a war room. This is where the relevant team is assembled to quickly drive to a resolution. Upon inspection with the product owner, it looks like this is a result of a change in the provider API. So a defect is created in ALM Octane directly from the collaboration tool using the ALM Octane chatbot. The dev team communicates, fixes the issue, and pushes the change to production using the same pipeline we saw earlier. The fix is confirmed, the incident closed, 
and all conversations are saved with the incident in Service Manager for traceability. The success of any DevOps initiative lies with continuous assessment and iterative improvements. Our KPI dashboard, running on top of Vertica, continuously collects data from all of the components that make up the DevOps toolchain we've just seen and tracks a variety of KPIs for velocity, productivity, quality, and security. Here we see that the code is deployed successfully to all environments except production, indicating an issue with testing. Without tracking KPIs, this issue may have gone unnoticed or wrongly diagnosed, but now that the issue is understood, it can be fixed by the team. This is what end-to-end -end enterprise DevOps looks like in our model office. An integrated set of interrelated and continuous processes that together accelerate value realization. The Professional Services DevOps Model Office is a fully functional reference implementation environment with pre-built integrations across our software portfolio and third-party open source tools, showcasing key, common, real-life use cases based on IT for IT and safe industry standards. The Model Office shows you the art of the possible and enables your transformation by helping you visualize the end state. We invite you to take the Professional Services DevOps Model Office for a test drive.